Hey, I'm John Lazar from New York, and among other things, I make custom Friends figures as well as custom mocks and Mindstorms. These are some of my custom Friends. Uh, on top, it's a lot of superheroes, superheroines, and pop culture characters. And below that is a lot of Star Wars characters. And so this is something that is entirely unique, I would like to say. Not too many people are customizing Friends figures, and I would say that Friends figures maybe present a, a different customization experience than a typical minifigure. Would you concur? Yeah, I mean, you get a lot more canvas to work with because they're bigger figures. They're a little more spread in the body, so you get a little more room to work and work out the detailing that you wouldn't get with a, with a little more squat front, uh, regular figure. Uh, so uh, maybe take the time to point out one or two of your uh, favorite figures, just maybe on the basis of, like, it was fun to create or it's had a great response. Uh, some of my favorite are Psylocke over here, just because lots of fine detailing, along with the Halo weapon to represent her psi power. Uh, Rogue from the X-Men over there, just because it kind of had a little nice mix of green and yellow and doing the hair and making the jacket out of the uh, cape as well as a lot of the Star Wars stuff, which I'm, is my current project, so I do one a week. Uh, recently I did Boba Fett, right in the top middle here. Um, I have about five different, five or six different uh, Luke Skywalkers, four different Han Solos, eight different Leias, and then individual versions of the different characters, including three Landos and all the villains. And so uh, when you're kind of approaching this, what, what tools are you using? Are you uh, painting on... Uh, depending on the character, uh, if uh, there's going to be skin showing, I'll use Brasso to remove the paint on the character. Otherwise, I will use uh, acrylic paint over it, uh, do a base layer, do a couple layers over it to get the right color and the right thickness on the paint. And then I'll start doing detailing. Uh, for fine detailing, I'll either use a fine brush or I'll even use a Sharpie, a Sharpie paint pens uh, to get those de fine details that I couldn't get with the wide brushes. And then add the accessories, hair, hats, lightsabers, swords, things like that. Now, when uh, Friends figures were initially introduced, I know there was a little bit of pushback. Uh, people saying that, why didn't they just make it minifigures? Uh, how do you feel about the matter? Um, you know, whatever it takes to get more people into the hobby, I'm all for. I see the response that little girls get when they see Friends, and I realize that it's great for them. And while most of the AFOLs here at the convention are not into Friends, it's not for them. But if you see the little girls and they want to play with the, the elves, the Friends, the Disney princesses, it's great because it gets them building. And I'm somebody who comes from an engineering background, and I love the idea that they're building, they're working with their hands, they're learning, even if they don't realize it. Certainly. It's, it's wonderful to kind of hit all of the segments of the market, right? Exactly. You know? Why not share the hobby with everybody? And so if uh, someone was looking at these Friends figures and you wanted to have them uh, have one takeaway, what would it be when they see your display here? Um, that even though that this is a line that's meant for girls, it's something that can be worked with and that anybody who kind of likes this type of figure can work with and turn it into something else. You can empower the figures so they're not just shopping at the mall or getting their hair done, but they're battling the Empire and they're saving the world. And at the end of the day, it's Lego, and Lego is always awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Very nice, John. Very nice.